to my name is Patrick Kasasa, representing uh, Champion Seeds. Actually, the full name is Champion uh, Pharma see a uh, pharmacy cooperative company so it is a cooperative company made up of farmers <laughs> Uh, it is the, the newest seed company in the country, uh, registered in 2016 under Zimbabwean laws, and it was established uh, with support from the Community Technology Development Trust and with funding uh, from, uh, from CEDA, the Swedish CEDA, via uh, Oxfam Novib, uh, and this support is coming to an end this year. The company is actually governed by a nine-member board, made up of four technical uh, um, experts in seed business, but also five farmer representatives representing the grower associations in the district. Uh, Champion Seeds currently has 750 growers, having jumped from the 2016-2017 season from a mere uh, 75. And, and the, the important thing about Champion Seeds is that the farmers are shareholders they 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 own the company and and as we engage them train them we we talk about shareholding and 300 of them have already uh, bought shares what do we want to do we want to ensure seed security uh, among smallholder farmers and economic empowerment especially among the women uh, and to enable these to grow high quality seed uh, as outgrowers and the market that seed. What we do is we, we are promoting the growing of a diverse range of climate resilient seeds of um, uh, sorghum. I think you can go to the next, uh, next uh, slide, even the next one. Um, we are growing a diverse range of, s of hybrid and OPV maize Orange maize we have started uh, doing, which is uh, the, the high value ones. Sorghum, pearl millet, groundnuts, cowpeas, and beans. Those are our collaborating partners, the National Crop Breeding Institute, CIMIT, ICRISAT, who are pr providing the foundation seeds. In year one, the results have shown that uh, farmers, 75 of them produced 145 tons. 98% of that produce was bought. This year, like I have already alluded to, 750 over 700. What we have managed to do is to demystify the myth that uh, smallholder farmers cannot grow quality seed. Our partners, uh, uh, government departments, uh, extension, research, uh, research uh, centers, uh, and also they support us with the uh, foundation seed, with inspections, and so on and so forth. What we are asking for is, is the youngest seed company, about 250 to 300,000 uh, euros to keep us going. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you. Right on time. Thank you. I really like the fact that in your company, actually your stakeholders are your shareholders. And um, it makes it very difficult to invest um, because you have to, do, to deal with a lot of people. But I really like the ball of it. Normally, I don't say to companies, like, go somewhere else, right? Because you're also trying to make an investment in the company. But for you, I think it would also be interesting to see if it would be possible to actually crowdsource your 250,000 or 300,000 with other people because you're already stepping in the model where you have a multiple of shareholders. It could be interesting to see if you cannot break, for example, the 300,000 in 3,000 pieces of 100 and try to fund your company in that way because you're already on that path wherein you have to manage a lot of people so it could be interesting to look to crowdfunding as an alternative uh, financing model <coughs> and otherwise of course we'll continue the conversation with you as well uh, you are with uh, it's an interesting presentation with uh, more time I would have wanted to know your reach in terms of um, uh, where you are operating your distribution uh, who are you involved in and other things like that but otherwise thank you uh, for the presentation <laughs>